Well, hello, boys and girls. It's when we feel like an o'clock, and I'm Pearl of Wisdom, and you're listening to my NHL Pearls of Wisdom. I'm going to be bringing you NHL picks right away, and uh, all you subscribers out there, my gosh, Melissa and Hernandez darn even get, they can barely get a nap in with all the subscribers that were sending you your my NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklaces from uh, BPAL Picks, you know. Can you see that? No, okay. Anyways, uh, from BPAL Picks. Uh, so, the, you, if you don't know, and I don't know how you don't know, if you subscribe to the channel here now, right now, here, okay, right, like that, then we just see, because you did that, we're going to send you a My NHL Pearls of Wisdom necklace right to your door by a Perlocopter. Either Melissa or Hernandez will send it over your way. So you just go outside and wait for that. Uh, also, if you put your par put if you make up a parlay, okay, and put it in the comment section, we will tabulate points for your parlay. So if it's like if if the odds are if it pays out seven point five units, you'll get seven point five points. The winner at the end of the month of the parlay challenge will get a free premium pick at BPAL picks which you can get in the bio you can go there and hit a link if you comment down there in the comment section which I love when you do that and thank you for all you commenters it's freaking awesome uh, just because I like to talk to you I'll give you the rest of the month for free too so anyways today I'm now watching the Oilers game uh, when, or, and I'm watching the Vancouver Calgary game. Uh, when I found out that uh, Holpe was going to be in net, I, I went over to the Patreon. I told all my people, told all the people there, take the over with Holpe in net. Now, there's something I realized while I'm doing this, and I have to remember, Holpe hasn't played for a while. The last game he played, he played poorly. He had been playing poorly. Vancouver has some of the best goaltender coaches in the league. And it looks like they have found the sweet spot for Hopi now. <laughs> Anyways, it's still almost going over, though. It's 4-1 to one right now. We just need uh, two more goals for it to go over. So we could be okay already. It's in the third. The problem was I also took Calgary ML. So, whatever. That's a wash. Uh, if it does happen to go over. The Edmonton game. Put Smith in. All of a sudden, Smith knows how to stop pucks. No business for Winnipeg to not be winning that game. Found out Smith was in. I went with Winnipeg. Put the juice and the over there. And that's not happening either. Now, we'll go look at the other games. I, didn't do, I did pretty well on the other games, which makes up for it a little bit. Not to mention, we hit a basketball pick. It was... Uh, the Bulls over the Pistons, ML, got that one. Uh, tennis picks coming in. Uh, also, we hit tennis like crazy, like crazy. And people are making money. Like if it's not, if I'm having a bad hockey day, you make money on tennis or basketball. I have guys that give me picks that know about basketball uh, and all of that. So you can go check it out. Uh, if you look at the public page, it tells you what our record is. Okay, let's go over to... Uh, and thank you for your letters of encouragement. Uh, Sammy, uh, S Sammy Basco, uh, you sent me, a, uh, sent me from Costa Rica, sent me a letter saying, I just love when I get up in the morning and watch your videos and all of these wonderful things that you said. It's amazing. Thank you for your letters. Guido goes down into the mail room and brings a sack of letters every morning, pours it all over the letter table, and uh, we all do the Perlo dance. Like that, just like that. You know what it is. Everybody does it. But we do it, and uh, there's much frolic. Okay, let's go. Games today. So, where is that now? Here, scores. Like I said, this is happening right now. The Oilers on a power play. I need them to score. Uh, not because the Jets are pretty much out of it anyways. It'd be beautiful if the Jets came back and the score was 4-3. That'd be perfect Panthers Hurricanes I had large pearls on the over 
I had the Hurricanes to win ML, but for like very little bit. Uh, I didn't really like it. I, I sent it out because it's kind of a lean more than anything. Um, the Leafs, we had the under on this, which was good. I also had the Leafs PL, but for not much either. And we also had the under on this game. Um, I had a little play on the wings, I thought, just a gut feeling, but not. But the main thing was the under. So we did pretty well that way. Uh, these games here just got to come through now. If we can get an over here and an over here. We're pretty much up a little tiny bit. So come on, guys. Let's get to her. All right. Let's go to our tomorrow stuff, shall we? The frolic tomorrow. Can we see the frolic? Oh, here we are. Right here. Boston versus New Jersey. Um, New Jersey is really... I almost want to take New Jersey PL here. But, oh, Vancouver just scored. So uh, definitely not right with my Calgary ML, but one, we only need one more goal for the over. Um, I almost want to go Jersey PL here, seriously. Like um, Blackwood is, doesn't look like he skipped a beat after a long layoff. They are, they're not going to, Boston's not going to outwork them. Nobody's going to outwork this New Jersey team. I don't like the juice on Boston ML. Um, I could see this going to overtime just simply because Blackwood is playing insane. Um, New Jersey PL here, I think, is the play. Well, what are you getting on the spread? 180. I think that's the value play. Uh, you could go Boston ML, but you're not getting any juice. You could go Boston and Reg, but the way New Jersey's playing right now, I could easily see them keeping this very, very close at least uh, with Blackwood and Net and that. And it doesn't make sense if you look at their roster, but Lindy Ruff is, is sizing himself up for uh, possibly uh, the Adams this year, the way he's got New Jersey playing. The way they played against the Rangers – uh, this last game without having played for a long time was pretty impressive. Although the Rangers certainly didn't take advantage of that situation. And Boston certainly isn't going to do that here. I don't think Boston's going to come out flat. They never do. So now as far as the total is concerned, um, I got to go the under just simply because they're both goaltenders are so great. And Boston likes to control a game. They're not really a run and gun style, but I'm not a huge fan of it. I do like the juice at 195. I'd only put a little bit because I could see it going over. Um, it, it's it's possible. It's just yeah, it's kind of a lean. I kind of a lean to the under, I guess. Nashville, Columbus. I, I just can't touch Nashville for nothing right now. Um, they look terrible. They almost look like they're playing to fire the coach, to tell you the honest truth. And uh, Columbus uh, apparently is going to have Merz Lickens in. And I like Columbus way better with Merz Lickens in. Um, I think Columbus wins this. And I think it's like 4-1, something like that. So I guess that would be the under. Um, I could see Nashville just pooping the bed completely and this being an over as well. But I do like the ML on this. And uh, what are we getting? I think you're getting pretty good juice. 187, 185. Check this out. If you can get to opening, they're giving you 218 on the money line. What? Opening. And by the way, this is, you can check out all, you can get all the best odds here. 191, bet online. Or no, sorry, that's not wrong one. 187, 191 here with... Uh, 193 with Pinnacle, almost a freaking wash. Uh, yeah, I'm all over that, for sure. I'm all over that. Col no, again, am I doing Philadelphia again? Nick? Let's go back here again. That was Philadelphia. So 191 is the best you can find there. I would definitely take 191 or even 187 or 185, whatever yours is. Uh, now we go to the Rangers that we just talked about. After what they saw, I saw against New Jersey, I kept on rooting for these for the Rangers. I thought after um, D'Angelo left, it would change the energy on this team, but nothing seems to be working for this team. Um, Shesterkin plays well for them, but I think Philadelphia, I take Philadelphia and Reg here. 
And I probably, if they're giving you five and a half, which I think they are, yeah, over. Over here, for sure. I think Philadelphia could run up the score in that game. Islanders versus Pittsburgh. Tough game to cap as far as money line is concerned. You got to take Islanders 210, I think. Uh, they should be playing Varlamov in net. Pittsburgh has a weak defense. Um, goaltending has been meh. I'm going to go... Oh, nice. Calgary just put Riddich in, so we should, we should be able to get our overall day here. <laughs> Riddich is... is I, I better not say that, because every time I mention goaltenders today, the exact thing opposite happens. So, uh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I would go the Islanders. It's not my biggest play here. My biggest play here would definitely be the under. Uh, what are they giving you? What's it? Please tell me they're not going fives on the Islanders right now. Total five and a half. Yeah, under five and a half. Um, uh, the Islanders are going are playing their system back. It seems a lot better now. Uh, Pittsburgh. It struggles against the Islanders type system like that. So I like the Islanders ML and uh, the under. Buffalo versus Washington. Buffalo just has no heart. I'm sorry. I, I think they're looking around going, uh, I don't know. It's, it's a really sad state there. They could win this game, I suppose, but I can't do it. I got to go Washington. Omar will be in. I'm worried about Vanacek. That's my biggest thing here. If they're going to keep on rolling with Vanacek, he played well the last game. He didn't play well the game before. But he's a, for a rookie, he's playing a lot of hockey. I don't think I would play the total here. I'm just afraid Buffalo can't score. Uh, Omar should stop enough pucks that this would keep possibly. At 6.5, I lean the under. I lean the under, but I could definitely see the over if Vanacek's having, you know, starts getting tired from playing all these games. So it's not my favorite play, but Washington, ML, even at 165, maybe even in reg. Buffalo's, yeah, in reg. I think you'll be getting 185, something like that. Check out, this doesn't give you what it, an in reg stat, but check out your provider, see what they'll give you for an in reg. Probably the right play there. Toronto, Ottawa. Well, okay. You have no juice on Toronto again. Um, Hall. This is three games and four nights. Both of these teams are tired. This is pretty fady, I think. Um, you can, simply because, I mean, you take the ML for Toronto like you did today uh, in a parlay, although my parlay got messed up by Detroit. Uh, I had Detroit PL. Um, yeah, Toronto PL is the only thing you can play there, really. Uh, Ottawa has been keeping it close, but is that going to keep on happening? I'm pretty sure they're going to go with Hogberg here. He's very inconsistent. He played well last game. Um, and Ottawa's just been playing very physical and now working Toronto they could do that tomorrow it's a very iffy game for the type of juice you're getting I probably would fade it all together if you absolutely have to do Toronto and reg I guess uh, and probably the under uh, tired teams usually play under oh you know what what am I thinking about Hutchinson is going to be in there for Toronto possibly just remember that <sighs> Hutchinson is a really bad goaltender. Uh, <laughs> hmm. Can Ottawa score enough? Yeah, maybe the over. And maybe Ottawa PL. Now that I'm thinking about it, Ottawa PL maybe. But the, that game could go anywhere. They're, all, they're both playing three games in four nights. Ottawa has been on the road for those games. Toronto should be able to outwork them. The question is, will they? And uh, the answer is, I don't know. Um, Ottawa should start getting tired here. I'm going to say Toronto in, uh, oh gosh, I don't know. Over. Wow, look at that. Just the way I'm going all over it, I should just stop. 
tomorrow might be better. Maybe my mind will be clearer on that play. By the way, all of these things, I had people comment that the video I did, um, I do a video and then I tell you what I picked the next day, like I just did, right? I had people comment to me saying, hey, what you did in your video and your actual pick you said the next day were different. Yes, because things change. This is why you go to Patreon. Uh, folk, get, pick yourself a package there. Comment down and I'll give you a free month so you can see how it works. Because I give information throughout the day if things change. And uh, my picks change if those things happen. Like say Holtby goes in net. Or the Edmonton rolls again with Smith. Or something like that. Uh, injuries happen. There's a whole plethora of things that can happen. So it's good to have. Uh, and you'll make it, you'll make yourself some money, so you might as well. St. San, San Louis, San, San Jose. Um, I got to take St. Louis here. Uh, they were outworked by Arizona, but San Jose is not going to outwork them. I also am going to go the over here. Uh, doesn't really matter who San Jose puts in net. I imagine it'll be Jones. Uh, total five and a half. Yeah, St. Louis can score that easy. Uh, I'd be very surprised if that that might be that might be a big play for me tomorrow. We'll have to see, but go with the over. I would go with the over on that one, uh, and I would go St. Louis um, probably in reg. You could probably in reg that um, San San Jose just doesn't look like they believe they can win. That would be about one seventy in regulation, uh, maybe even PL. But if St. Louis was playing a little better as of late, I probably would PL that. Los Angeles versus Arizona. This is a difficult one. Los Angeles just got some defensemen back. Uh, Wa, Roy, who you say who? Well, he's actually a re he's actually turning out to be a really good defenseman. They're playing really well. However, they're playing really well by outworking people. Arizona's not going to get outworked. Kemper should be in net. Peterson should be in net. I think I'm going to lean the under here. The under might be the play. Uh, total five and a half. Yeah, under might be the play, and I would lean Arizona. I just like the way they're flowing, but I think it's going to be tight. Uh, what's the money line? What's the spread? Oh, you could take. I wouldn't be a. Sh I, I. It wouldn't be. What are you getting on the spread for L. A. Here, one sixty five. One sixty five for L. A. That might be the best best play. Uh, what was the money line for? Arizona, 162. Yeah, you're getting more on the spread, PL, for Los Angeles. The I think you've got much better odds that it's a one-goal game or Los Angeles wins than taking Arizona on the ML. So I would take LA, PL on that. Uh, and I don't think Arizona is going to, it's wise to take that in reg or anything like that. They just play too tight, too many tight games. Um, one thing we could look really quick is on the weekly to see what the schedule is for both of them. Let's look really quick. This is a very good idea. Go go to uh, NHL weekly schedule and uh, check it out. Uh, what's the name of this again? Daily face off. Uh, it's great to have as a capper if you don't have, if you're not using it you really should. Um, LA okay so they they played at home against Minnesota they have a day off they go to Arizona. Arizona I believe has had some significant time off yeah they've had a lot two days off. Yeah I think I think you got to go Arizona and under there. That would be my my play. Um, Minnesota, Anaheim. Minnesota got their legs moving against, um, who was it that they, it was against LA. And uh, they, because they were off for a very long time. Now they're playing an Anaheim team. Uh, they should be back to, the, I think you're going to need injury reports for this, but I'm probably going to lean Minnesota ML. Anaheim's just kind of a mess right now. Um, what's the, the, we have no goaltender confirmations yet. And we, there's Minnesota was missing significant players. 
against LA. If they're still missing those players, I could totally change. But for now, I'm going to say Minnesota ML. Go over to Patreon. I will have a play for that in the morning. What I do is I, I do a write-up on every game, and I put my picks in. I put some of them as large pearl, medium, and small pearl picks. Uh, meaning, like, these are the ones I like the most to the least. You can use it for your own leans, or you can go with mine, whatever you want to do. Uh, I'm up a money, significant amount of money this year, and which is a really tough year because of all the COVID and stuff going on. But I'm up a lot of money. Uh, we're up a lot of money, I should say. Um, the reason why I do the Patreon and I ask for the support is I don't bet myself. And that's just simply because as soon as I put money in, it doesn't work for me. I don't know why. It's aggravating, actually. But I guess it's just so I can do this and have fun with you guys. Um, and I have fun over Patreon. We got people going over there a lot, especially lately. We got people flying over there. You should, too, because it would be so much fun. Comment in the comment section. I'll give you the rest of the month for free. And uh, you can check it out for yourself. Decide what you like, the premium package. Decide if you like it. If you like it, uh, stick with it and join the frolic. I'm pretty sure you will. That's why I'll give it to you for free. Well, boys and girls, that's my full 42. I got to get, holy, 20 minutes again for this video. I got to get going now. Have a great day. Lots of love to you. Okay, bye.